In conjunction with China Institute Gallery, a one-day symposium called Art of the Mountain Through the Chinese Photographer's Lens was held featuring scholars, photography collectors, and artists from both the U.S. and China. With a focus on photography and Chinese landscape, the afternoon's panel discussion was joined by photographers Lois Corner, Jia Xun Jim Zhang, Yang Yongliang, and the co-founder of Contact Press Images, Robert Pledge. Having devoted three decades to photographing landscapes of China, American photographer Lois Conner adopted a panoramic scope to not only present the endless, stunning scenery, but also recognize its similarities to traditional Chinese scroll paintings. During the panel discussion, Lois Conner shared some of her works that were shot along the Yangtze River. You can see the people on the boat. You can see, you know, almost what kind of tea they're drinking. That's important to me. I mean, there's the movement also. I mean, you know, the movement. And my exposure is usually a second or two long, because in order to get enough exposure for that big negative and close the lens down, so I'm covering the whole panorama, um, I have to have a longer exposure for like f90 or something. Chinese contemporary artist Yang Yongliang is well known for his signature photo collages that combine the visual languages of landscape painting with digital photo processing techniques, creating a futuristic world. From a distance, Yang's work looks no different than a traditional pre-modern Shan Shui painting. Yet upon closer examination, modern elements are revealed. Mountains are composed of high-rise apartments. Trees are actually power line towers and construction cranes. During Yang Yongliang's speech, he shared that for his recent work, he again combines the landscape traditions with digital techniques, but this time using VR technology. He creates immersive Chinese landscapes that immerses the audience while they wear VR goggles. Seeing China's Yellow Mountain and Li River as two everlasting themes of his artworks, Jia Xuan Jim Zhang shared a series of photographs capturing the beautiful landscape of Li River. Uh, I've been focusing on uh, uh, two places. One is uh, also Yellow Mountain. <laughs> And the other one is the Li River in China. Uh, and I consider these two places like um, uh, celestial worlds. And uh, I just love that. I can't help. When I got to Yellow Mountain, I got the feeling that I'm in heaven. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, when I got to the Li River area, I got the feeling that I was in a fairy tale. Using Lu Guang's photos of polluted scenes in China as an example, panelist Robert Pledge calls for appreciating not only poetic and beautiful landscape photography, but also photojournalism pieces that focus on social, environment, and economic issues in Chinese society. For more information from Sunvision English Channel, you can find us online at ian.sunvision.net or follow our Facebook page at Sunvision Official. Reporting for Sunvision Journal, I'm Jian Shi.